My name is Major Gene Hogg. I'm the Area Commander for Central Maryland Salvation Army. And tonight we're here to celebrate the Thanksgiving spirit with uh, Jamil McLean and the Salvation Army. And we just, we're excited about the event because it's an event that brings hope, an event that allows people to come together and for just a moment, forget about what's going on the outside. And all of a sudden now we can concentrate on family as well as community. So we're very excited about the event and we just want to thank Jamil for making all this happen for us. I really enjoy doing this thing for Jamil. Jamil is the type of guy that he doesn't really want the recognition, he just wants to be able to do and give back to the community. Uh, to me it's more of an honor to do it, to be the Santa for him because just know what kind of person he is. Jamil probably has a heart bigger than this whole room. We in the building, what's up? been the kids that I'm looking at. You know, I've been all of those things. So this is a special event for myself and so many other people that give, the volunteers, so many people that do so much for this. It's so special because of y'all. So if, if y'all could kindly give yourselves a round of applause for being here and sharing it. Amen. Amen. Again. Think a better dance now. One, two, three, hit it. We're having a great time tonight here, down here at the Boys Club. Can't ask for a better place to be right now with the family and my son. And uh, go Ravens! Yeah, um, I would like to um, thank Jamil McLean for uh, hosting this event. This is such a wonderful event and it's so important for the children to come out and have fun. We would just like to thank him for his um, generosity and helping our family to enjoy this holiday season. I get so emotional when I talk about it because it's so true, you know, like it's so real. Like just seeing all of these kids, you know, again, you're seeing the parents, you're seeing everybody. It's just, it's just beautiful, you know what I mean? Like it's beautiful. It's gonna happen. You never, you never know. You never, you never think it's gonna happen when you're at the point that you're at. So to be here now and to be able to share with somebody that is probably be better than me when they get bigger. It's, it's, that's, that's everything. I appreciate the Salvation Army program and a special shout out to Mr. Harris and Miss Crystal. And um, I like to have, I have two boys, seven and eight, Benjamin and Isaiah. And um, this is a good program for them to come, you know, after school, get help with their homework, get some mentoring. And I appreciate um, the football players come and talk and encourage them to do well in school. Jamil, you've done this event for four years, yes. right? With Salvation and partnering with Mesa Group. Yeah. Why is this such an important thing for you? 
You know, this, I always say every time, this, this event is so important to me because it touches me, you know what I mean? It touches me in a place that it makes it so familiar. I was like, this is exactly where I've been. This is exactly what I've been through. And these were the things that I was given or sometimes the things that I hope I had. So when I see these kids and when I see these families, I see fathers, I see mothers. You know, when I see what it brings to them, I see the happiness, I see the joy, I see the hope. I see the hope that it gives them, you know, to see someone that's been exactly in their shoes not so long ago. So the Salvation Army gave me hope when me and my family was in a hopeless place. They gave us an opportunity to build. They gave us an opportunity to recuperate. How you felt when you first went into that Salvation Army, you know, uh, lodge and with your mom, and can you share some of that? I just, I just remember the first, the first time we went in. I remember just feeling lonely. Mm. You know, even though I was there with my siblings, I just remember feeling lonely. Like, yeah. If you could, if you could go back to that day when you went into that uh, Salvation Army building with your mom, yeah. what would you say to you at that point in time? I would say to, I would say to myself, pay attention more. Mm. Pay attention more. Take it all. Take the positivity. Take the negativity. Take whatever you can take out of this to drive you even more mm. to where you want to go. Now you've done this. You've done this for four years. Yes. Right. What's next for you? I know. I know, I know you're coming back on your career and everything yeah. like that. But you, you mentioned something earlier about you know wanting to make sure that you were the man that you want to be. That even when football is over and yeah. all of that. So what are you going to do with your time? I mean, is this event going to get bigger? Are you going to do more? I mean, I mean, what, what's next for you? What is next for me? It's, it's a beautiful question, yeah. you know, because I ask myself every day, what's next and what's more? And how can, how can I give more? Or how can I do more? You know, it, so what's next for me? First, what's next is I, I want to write a book. You know, I, well, we want to get into the writing a book and, and see how many people that we can share that story with. And then, you know, motivational speaking is something that I'm strong about, sharing my story. Because I knew if I could fight like so many of y'all, if I could dream like so many of y'all, if I could be dedicated to my goals like so many of y'all are, or so many of y'all will be even more in life. You know that what I was being put through right then was nothing. We're just gonna we're, we're gonna love them and give them hope too. And that's all, all right. we can do in life anyway. All right, all right. Just Thank you so hope. very much. Right. What would you say to those individuals that are thinking about the Salvation Army and being a, an avenue of their of their benevolent dollars? Yeah. And they're and they're they're wondering, is this the right place to give? Yeah. What, what would you say to them? I say it's the right place, but it's the right place because you can tell the direction that they've done. You can tell the direction that they've been in. You can see and witness the people that they've helped. So you know that your money is going to a right place. You know